Yo guys, how's all doing? Welcome back to another one of Jordy's Beer Reviews. And this one we're looking at Furstenberg. So, let's have a wee read. Furstenberg since, since 1283. Premium lager imported beer from the Black Forest brewed and bottled in Germany. Furstenberg Brewery. Brewery. So, yeah, premium wagger. Let's read the back if I can. Oh, it is. It's in English. Well, cool. The Furstenberg Brewery is situated in the town of Donnerschein. What? Donnerschein. 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 In the Black Forest, it first began to sell its beer to the public in 1283. Since then, it has gained an enviable worldwide reputation for the taste and quality of its beers. Furstenberg Premium Lager in light and colour has a refreshing clean smooth taste. Ingredients, water, barley malt, hops. And brewed and bottled in Furstenberg, Furstenberg Brewery, Germany. And this is, <laughs> this is coming in at 5.3% alcohol volume in a 50 CL bottle. So basically a 500 ml bottle, I'm pretty sure. So Furstenberg, guy. Furstenberg. Um, let's just get it open into a glass, see what it's all about. Bottle cap. There is the bottle cap. If it will focus. Focus, 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 focus. No, it's no focusing, but there's a bottle cap. Let's get it open. Ooh. Hell. Right, let's get on with the pour. So, have I had this beer before? You might be wondering. I have had it before. I've had Fussenberg before. Um, I actually done a review of this. I actually did a review of this when I first started off my channel, but it wasn't a, let's just say, it wasn't professional. So, this is a professional beer review. Well, I'm going to try and make a professional beer review. But hey, they all make mistakes. Anyway, Furstenberg, since 1283. 1283, I think. So, Furstenberg. There we go. Furstenberg. So, yeah, I did do a review of this a while ago, but it wasn't exactly professional. Um, so, and I... I wanted to review it, you know, um, nice and cold, really ice cold. Let's go with the aroma. Bready. Straight up white bread. Hoppy smell, slightly hoppy. Grassy. Can smell the yeast. Mm. Okay, let's now go with the taste deal. The most important part. <laughs> there we go. Furstenberg. Furstenberg. So guys, the appearance of the beer in the glass looks very queer. I forgot to say the queer. I, I forgot to do the appearance. So the appearance of the beer is extremely queer. If I hold this bottle up. You can see right through it. Extremely queer. So, queer light gold appearance. Pale straw colour. In fact, no, I would say it's more gold. Light gold. I'm going to go with a light gold colour and a white spongy head. Now, let's go with the taste deal. So, cheers to everyone watching. Thank you for watching. Let's drink Furstenberg. Cheers. Mmm, beautiful. Light, crisp, very clean, refreshing. What else do you expect from a Pilsner? Wait, this isn't even a Pilsner, it's a premium lager. Well, it tastes like a Pilsner. It's, it does the same job as a Pilsner would do, but it's saying it's a premium lager. Sorry, I got mixed up there. Um, but 
you know what? It does taste like a Pilsner. It's got that kind of same Pilsner DNA. It's like it's kind of like a Kronbacher or um, I reviewed I reviewed Veltins yesterday. Um, it's kind of like that. It's like that approach. It's very light. It's very clean. It's very crisp. Refreshing lager. Um, Okay, let's just go with the three scores. So, three scores are artwork, drinkability, final grade. So, first, let's go with the artwork. I like it. I like the bottle. It looks very posh. Pretty cool. There's the back, guys. In case you guys want to see the back, there it is. And there's the front. Posh looking, nice looking. Ugh. It's got kind of like medieval writing. Um, artwork of the beer. I'm going to give it. It's fancy. I think it's fancy. So I'm going to give this um, beer. I'm going to give the artwork of the bottle. Artwork, artwork of the bottle is getting. I'm going to give it. I'll just give it a solid nine. Nine out of ten for the artwork. It's pretty impressive in a way. I like it. Next grade is the drinkability. How easy drinking is this one out of 10? Nice hoppy aftertaste. Oh. <clears throat> it does the job. The hops tickle your tongue in the aftertaste, um, but it's not aggressive. It's just, it's, the hops are there. Very clean. Very clean. Um, okay, so, drinkability, score on Furstenberg. Drinkability, I'm going to give it a 9 point, do you know what, I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 for the drinkability. 10 out of 10 for the drinkability on Furstenberg. I love it. It's tasty. Clean, crisp, refreshing, a lot like a Pilsner. If, if you were to hand me this in a glass and say, this is a Pilsner, what do you think? I would believe you that it's a Pilsner because it basically is. It's saying on the bottle that it's a premium lager, but it's a lot like a, like a Pilsner. <coughs> so, drinkability, artwork, 9 out of 10. Drinkability, 10 out of 10. Next grade is the final grade. Final grade, my con the conclusion, um, the beer overall score. Mm. Lovely job, we stuff. So, final grade. Final grade of Furstenberg. So, I'm going to give it... Hmm, it's saying it's a premium, a premium lager, but in my head, I think that's a Pilsner. Um, I, I do. I think it's a Pilsner. It's like a Kronbacher, in a way. Um, it reminds me of Kronbacher. In fact, do you know what? Um, Kronbacher versus Furstenberg. That would be interesting. If you guys want to see that, comment down below and I will do that. Uh, okay. Final score of Fossenburg. So, my final score on Fossenburg is going to get a 9.8. 9.8 out of 10 for Fossenburg. Premium lager. But it's a lot like a Pilsner. So, 9.8 out of 10 for the final grade. So, artwork, we got a 9 out of 10. Drink about it, I gave it a 10 out of 10. Final grade, 9.8 out of 10. So, it's up there, it's high up on the ranks for my favourite kind of beers. And I love that. I love the clean approach. I love that it's, um, you can drink it so easy. Like, this is really easy drinking. Um, and what is the volume on this again? 5.3% alcohol volume. Sessionable.
very sessionable beer. So, 9.8 out of 10 is my final grade on First and Bird, guys. I like it. I like it a lot. Cheers. Have another wee drink and then I'll cut the video off. Mm. So, peace out, guys. Catch you guys in the next one. Take care of yourselves. Take care and peace. Peace, love, unity to all. Catch you guys in the next one. Take care of yourselves and goodbye.